let's modify this sample income statement by month report for use with our organization's data. Once we place the report in design mode so that we can make the necessary changes, we see that the values all disappear. That's natural. We need to change the sample account information to the account numbers and names for our chart of accounts for each section of the income statement. We can do this by manually entering the information, or we can use the Fast Financials tool to update the account numbers and names. From the Fast Financials window, let's select only the account number and name. Verify that Include Column Headers is unchecked, and select one or more of our account numbers. We can drag the selected accounts onto the worksheet and dropping them starting on column C, which is the account number. Dragging accounts into cells with existing information will trigger an overwrite warning. Once we say OK, Excel cannot undo this change. If we need to add or delete rows in the sections of the income statement, it is best to insert or delete entire rows. This helps to maintain the integrity of the sum or subtotal lines which we still want to verify are summing or subtotaling the correct range. If we insert rows into any of the sections of the report, we need to copy and fill down any JET or Excel formulas. Again, verifying the total lines are summing or subtotaling the correct range. Once we've completed adding the accounts we want, we can run the report to update the report with up-to-the-date data from our organization. We're prompted to enter the desired report options for our data, and now we have a completed monthly income statement with our organization's data. Modifying existing sample reports is a fast way to get started with the power of JetExpress.